is my thing here. I got to get off of that. <laughs> my audio stream is dropping out on me or something here. Let's go down on that. Connecting. Okay. Audio stream's dropping out. All right. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to Freakers Ball, folks. It's Friday night once again, March the 9th, 2018, 9 p.m. here in where I live, in the mountain zone, mountain time zone. Of course, uh, on Monday, I guess that'll be 8 p.m. Because we lose an hour come Saturday night, tomorrow night. Yeah, you lose an hour. But it's the Freakers Ball. Either way, uh, <laughs> uh, just losing an hour of crap. Uh, I, I, I don't quite get it. Are we, are we connected? Yeah, we're connected. Okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like the video stream's working fine. The audio stream's the one dropping out on me. I don't, I don't really quite understand that. But um, I'll do what I do, and if you're listening on the audio stream, perhaps you want to get off the audio stream because it's flaking out tonight. Uh, anyway, come on over here to reallibertymedia.com. Uh, click on uh, Channel 1 there, or uh, use the show page thing. And you come on into the Freakers Ball, and uh, you'll you'll be right here where you where you need to be. It's the way to be. It's the place to be. It's where you you want to be, isn't it? Well, here I'm talking to people that are that are not here, <laughs> unless they're on the audio stream. Uh, so uh, welcome to y'all. Welcome to everybody over there on Freakdoms Network, free 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 freedomsnetwork dot com, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, talk. We'll uh, what the hell's going on here? All right, there she is. <laughs> hey, Moose Girl. Hello? 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 There you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. My partner in crime has arrived. Yes, I have. So, uh, anyway, where was that? Grams hears everything. Are you on the audio stream, Grammy? You hearing everything? Because I've I seen it dropped oh, out a couple... Uh, I, I don't know where she is. Anyway, she she said she hears everything. So, um. oh okay. <laughs> but 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 uh, but I seen the uh, the audio stream drop out twice there, three times maybe. I don't know. Uh, either way, it dropped off a couple times, and now it's back. Um. Good. <laughs> I don't know what's going. On. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, so that that seems to be working at this point in time. I I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, Anyway, uh, howdy to all the people on the Freedom Freedoms Network over there. I don't know who's all there. Uh, I, I only see me and Grammy over there, but uh, oh, Gary L too. Uh, I don't know, maybe whoever whoever's there. Hi, uh, and whoever's here in the Real Liberty Media chat, uh, uh, you know who you are. Oh, oh, we got the Cowboy Tech, and we got Chloe, and we got Grammy, and and we got Juana Taco, uh, and the Fluke Bot. These are the ones that are talking presently. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, Best Z. What the hell's going on, Best Z? You haven't spoken for like a week, uh, and then you like dropped off and you were gone. So are you still around out there, Beth? Say hi, if you are. Anyway. <laughs> uh, make me make worry about you, girl. All right, anyway, um, how are you? I'm okay. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good. Just oh, say there's, hi. There's free enslaved saying hi. So good. So, All right, there's free enslaved. More, 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 more lurkers coming alive. Good. Free enslaved comes alive. It's like Francis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see what's going. on. Oh, your 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 boy there won the big award. What was it? Yep. Uh, what did they call that? The uh, championship anti hand. Uh, what, what? I was said anti hand is here. Oh, awesome! <laughs> so, so he won the what was it? Hobie Baker Award. Hobie Baker for character and sportsmanship. Awesome! Yeah, they give it to about a hundred kids in Wisconsin every year. A hundred out of how many? All however the kids, many kids play sports, play all, hockey. All the sports kids in 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 the oh, whole hockey. state. Oh, well, hockey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. That's excellent. That's excellent. Congratulations. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's excellent. Um, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. He deserves it. I would say so. He's 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 been a heck of a heck of a team member. Yeah. 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 
So, so yeah, it was cool. That happened at the banquet on Tuesday. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And I'm proud of him. Uh, I am, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, it was it was fun. That was cool. That is cool. When the coach was describing the person before they gave the award, you know, he was describing the person. He didn't say who it was, and he just described like the person before and he said the name. Yeah. And when he was describing, I'm like, I think that's Zach. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> sure at all. Then he says Zach, and I'm like, Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well. Good. So the coach had yeah. nice words, had kind words for him. Yes, like he did, yep. Even though he won't play him. <laughs> right. Well, season's done now, so. Yeah, yeah, well. How much playing time did he get in? Actual playing time, he played one game, and he played for like two minutes in one game. <laughs> yeah, bastard. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, this week is Daylight Savings Time, as I mentioned in the uh, intro there, Mr. Cowboy Tech. Tomorrow you lose an hour. It's stolen. From well, you me. don't really though. It's they're stealing an hour from you. Don't don't believe Moose Girl. They're taking one of your hours and and they ain't giving it back. It's well. stupid. They need to get <laughs> get rid of daylight savings time. It doesn't. There's no need for it anymore. Right. I mean Arizona doesn't even do it. Doesn't do it. So right. I mean. Yeah. It, yeah. it does. It fucks with your biological clock. Like they were playing some comedian on to the radio on the way home from work and. He was talking about daylight savings time, how it's no big deal, and how people get all messed up by it. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's no big deal. No, it is a big deal. It is a big An deal. Hour is more is more of amount of time than you think it is. I mean, yeah, it's 60 minutes, obviously. But I'll, it, it just mess, messes with your body clock. Like, I'm going to be tired all week next week. Right. You have, you have like, jet lag without ever. All week next week. You, you're you're going to have jet lag without ever going anywhere. Right. And it's like, really? Yeah, no, it has nothing to do with that anymore. If I had. It has nothing to do with that anymore. Daylight savings time is for the fucking past. <laughs> cows, cows and milk. More people were farmers. And it, more people, you know, it, it's stupid. It's dumb. Oh, God. But apparently, it's uh, Cowboy Tech just posted a link here to timeanddate.com on the daylight savings thing. And apparently, they uh, they do it in other places. It's not everywhere. Uh, and I'm I'm not sure what this means because some of them say no daylight saving times in 2018. Does that mean they never had it, or they just are doing it this year? And then other places I'm say sure. daylight saving time all year in 2018, like at Palmer Station in Antarctica, Antarctica <laughs> which do they really care down there? Um, anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, it, it lists all the various countries, uh, Afghanistan and. Uh, Argentina and Aruba, Aruba, and Australia, and uh, uh, most locations, and, uh, and they have a different date. They don't even start the same time as we do, or end the same time as we do. I think these are the old dates that we used to use. Uh, April first to start. Oh, please. And, yeah. So dumb. It's just dumb. There's no need for it anymore. I complain about it in November, and I complain about it in March. Because it's bullshit. It's stupid. We don't need to be doing it anymore. Right. Anyway, there's a bunch of countries that don't have it, and, and then some that do. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to keep on with it. But uh, thanks for that link, Cowboy Tech. Yeah. Hey, Benoit. What the hell's going on? Hey, Benoit. So, yeah, it's just dumb. I, I, I hate it because it screws up your routine. Yeah, you know? We could all it, it, it screws up your routine. We could all move to Peru. There's no daylight savings. You gotta training. fucking change your fucking clock. You gotta fucking mess around. It screws up your body clock. It screws up your sleep schedule. It's it, it's it's not needed anymore. That's my opinion. I know my opinion doesn't mean shit. But, you know. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, it's just dumb. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Syria has daylight savings time. I wonder why don't they do that between getting bombed by the U.S. What was that? <laughs> Never mind. 
since Surrey gets has, has daylight savings times now, so I wonder when the people are setting their clocks between getting bombed by, yeah. the, by the U.S. Sunlight's <laughs> good for you, though. That's the rumor. Vitamin D. That's, that's, that's the rumor. No, Uruguay, none there. I mean, no, 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 uh, no, uh, um, no daylight saving times in Uruguay, and and weed is legal, or weed is just. Good. I think I should move there. Yeah, that's the place to go, man. Uruguay. Yeah, cause I don't know. Cause screw the U.S. Me. is kind of fucking lame. Ah, uh, absolutely. Five that's time zones in uh, Australia. Uh, you you guys don't look that big. No, they don't look that big, but apparently <laughs> they are. Huh? Apparently they are. Uh, well, anyway, um, <laughs> so how's your how's your uh, weather out there? You got snow yet going on? Yeah, it's still around, it's melting and refreezing every day. Uh, okay, it was like seventy here today. It looks like wicked. It looks really wicked. It was like 40, in the forties today. It was nice and sunny. The snow looks wicked because it melts and refreezes overnight. Yeah. So it looks really wicked. Yeah, I get it that cool. ice going on. It's it, really the roads and the sidewalks are all clear now. It's just the snow is just all around everywhere else, but it's melting. So. Okay. Well, good. So that's good. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for this winter shit to be done. Yeah, well, we got officially. Uh, let's see, the twentieth is the mar is the equinox. So, yeah, but that doesn't apply to Wisconsin. <laughs> Whatever. That's when the market goes. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> it's Wisconsin. Winter lingers on for weeks after the 21st. Yeah. Sometimes. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, but... Because it's Wisconsin. It's it's the Midwest. It's near Canada. Well, I, I understand, but it's, it's, it's due to the position of the sun and the... Angle of the Earth and the, all that, right. all that happy horse shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so it may not feel like it applies, but it does. <laughs> yeah. Baseball equals spring. The spring's not that boring. Spring's pretty cool, actually. And baseball, yeah, well, baseball's boring. No, I don't think so. But. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> is uh, Matt or Zach going to play any? They're, yeah, they're going to. Zach will. Play some ball. Matt's done. Sports. Ah, all right. Yep. Which is fine. Yeah. They're seniors yeah. now, whatever. Exactly. They only got a few months to graduation, man. Yeah. Then they're... Let's hope they, that happens. And they'll be 18 before that happens. Yes, they will. A couple of weeks before. Official adulthood. Yay. And I, you know, I'm like, okay, so... You're not supposed to be able to get a gun till you're 21, but yeah, they're going to send you off to war when you're fucking 18. No, 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 that, that's just that's just stupid Florida, and that's going to be overturned. Oh, okay. That, that'll, that'll my be... point is, anyway, if you want a gun bad enough, you can fucking get a goddamn gun. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, anywhere. You can find a gun from a relative or a friend or steal one. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want a gun bad enough, you'll get a gun. There's plenty of places to get one. I mean, it, anyway, that that stupid Florida law they passed today that that'll be overturned. It should be. Well, it will be. I, 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 I think no. they should make they should just get rid of the drinking age. Yeah, just get rid of legal ages altogether. We, what the hell do we yeah, need legal ages I mean, for? Yeah. Screw you those things. Yeah. Who, who are you to say that eighteen is an official from from the day you're uh, seventeen and three hundred and sixty-four days. You're you're just a kid, but uh, once that clock ticks, one more tick, suddenly you're an adult and allowed to do whatever. Yeah, uh, I think it's just, just, just total bullshit. People, people, you know, they they mature at at various rates, and right, uh, you know, you, you got kids that are that are twelve that are more more mature than some twenty-five, thirty-year-olds. Yeah. And and yeah, so uh, I mean and you know uh, 
whatever. It, it's it's stupid, but you know, the, uh, if you don't let kids ever have any experience up until that point, then then they're not going to be maturing in very well. Right. You know, they've got to be able to go out and and whatever. You know, have fun with their friends and do things that that you might consider to be bad, but but that's part of being a, you know growing up of 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 understanding how the world works. And, right. And if you don't do that, then then you're gonna wind up being, when you turn 18, you're gonna be no better than you were when you were 12. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the way you know, so many parents shelter their kids so deeply. Um, yeah. yeah it, it, uh, I wasn't. I didn't really do that. I mean. No, no. You expose them to reality and truth, and and uh, yeah. Yeah. They don't disarm the fighting youth that they sign up for the fucking military, though, do they? Oh, certainly not. No, sure. they fucking hand on the AR-15. They hand at it. Look, here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't, I don't know how, how, what percentage of people sign up for the military, but I goddamn guarantee you, most of them do it as soon as they possibly can when they're youngsters. And and if you bump that up and said no, we don't accept anybody, and and until uh, they they turn 21, then they would have like a very small percentage of what they get now of people signing up because in, in those years there were people who are having to actually live in, on their own and survive for themselves uh, th those that don't hang out with mom and dad the whole time um, <laughs> we'll, we'll just say no way I'm going to do that stuff uh, they'll be able to see exactly how the government treats people in, in those, those few years as an adult before they go and just sign up yeah. I, so so there's no way they would do that because the, the military likes all that fresh meat, you know? Yep. Yep. It's messed up. Nine marijuana beers for 420. Well, that's just very nice there, Anti Hen. Let's take a look at that. Paste magazine. Sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a weird magazine. What do we got here? Hash session. Dank beers. There you go. Lagunitas. Uh, Oscar Ooh, Blues. Lagunitas makes one? What? what? Lagunitas? Yeah, that's what that's it's called. Lagunitas Censored. <laughs> Oscar Blues Pinner. It's a throwback IPA. Da, 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 gigantic flavor. Yeah, Lagunitas Censored. Uh, Mount Shasta Mountain High IPA. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ale Industries Cherry Kush. <laughs> Off. Hop hashes. Oh, look at let's see what that one is. This think of hop hash as a keef from the hop processor. Uh, it's resin that's left after the hop plants have been ground into pellets. Remove the machine. Sticky like traditional hash. Hop hash is exceedingly rare hop replacement used in brewing because it's crystallized, concentrated dankness. Makes it the perfect tool for brewing extremely potent marijuana-esque beer. Uh, Sweetwater Hop Hash Imperial IPA. Dangerous dangerous Man Hop Hash. Um, hemp, hemp and Ales. Hemp and Ales. <laughs> I like the sound of that one. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, Humboldt Bruin, oh, hum, 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 Humboldt Brown. Uh, you know made, where that's from. Oh, yeah. Made with toasted hemp seeds. The beer is earthy and toasty, with only a hint of hemp flavor. And then there's Man Cave Hippie Joe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It says, last year, thanks to Measure 91, weed became legal to grow and buy and use in Oregon. Locals Men Cave Brewing decide to celebrate the unprecedented access to pot by infusing an IPA with hemp flowers, the male strand of the hemp plant from which the bong fodder is cultivated. A true original on the commercial scale, Hippie Joe was a ver veritable media sensation and more than likely a harbinger of things to come in the brewing industry. <laughs> Probably. Give me some of that hippie Joe. <laughs> the fighting youth. Right now, the fighting youth, the only way they can fight is if they go to fuck the military. The fucking military. That's right. 
kindergarten, kinder, it doesn't matter what, what what grade they're teaching. If they want to have a, a weapon, they should have a weapon. What's the, what's what's the big deal? Or or do you think like those idiots down there in Florida? I forget who the guy was. Oh, if 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 teachers have guns, they're going to start shooting black kids. <laughs> it's like what? What? <laughs> what? Don't make it a race fucking thing. <laughs> that's what they did. Ah, damn. That's, that's exactly what they tried to do anyway. A anyway, let's let's kick it off with some jams here. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about this gun nonsense uh in in uh, further detail in a bit. Right. But uh <laughs> Oh boy. Where's my recorder? Here it is. All right. <laughs> Folks, rock on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's some nice stuff there. That band is called Greta Van Fleet. They are being touted as the next Led Zeppelin for obvious reasons. You can uh, definitely hear the similarities. That track was called Highway Tune. Look them up, check them out, Greta Van Fleet. Before that, Willie Nelson doing the old Jimmy Cliff song, The Hot of the Calm. Very nice job, Willie. Very nice. And we kicked it off there with, do you remember that song? Do you remember that old song? David Essex, rock on. From, of course I do. From, from like 1973. <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty good uh, Led Zepp ripoff sound. But, uh, hey, if it's brand, if, it, if it's a new, these kids, these young kids doing Led Zeppelin, that means we'll get many more years of them to, to sound like Led Zeppelin. And who can argue with that? <laughs> I mean, those kids are talented. There ain't no question about that. Uh, so, Greta Van Fleet, look them up, check them out. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Yeah. Ah. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's awesome. It's awesome. I, uh, I, I appreciate, uh, throwbacks, you know? Yep. That, uh, pe people making, making use of the old sounds to do new music, it's, um, oh, yeah, fucking Hans, I forgot that. It's a good thing. Hans tried to request Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> what? Hans tried to request Olivia Newton-John. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's gonna work. <laughs> Funny. Oh God. Yeah, I love Zep, man. I'm a huge, huge Zep fan, and uh, oh, me too. So uh, you know, and I'll take these are these are originals uh, that that they're putting out. Of course, you can find some covers that they did, some Zeppelin covers they did. Um, but uh, oh, what, whatever, um, check them out. Like I said, Greta Van Fleet. Remember that name. All right. Look forward to them. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Marijuana beers. It's funny. All right. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I, I think I'll have to try one of them. Yeah, why not? Sure. I put the, I'll put the link into the blog, so. Try one of them beers. If, if you need to look it up or whatever. So, yeah, today yeah, the... Uh, the, the really went down there to Jamaica. Yeah. Devil I mean, that's a Peter Tosh song, right? Uh, I mean, not Peter Tosh. Um, Jimmy Cliff. Jimmy Cliff, yeah. yeah. So anyway, today the uh, Florida 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 does <laughs> pass their law, making it so that um, it's uh, you have to be 21 years old to buy. It's any, not going to change anything. It, 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 yeah, by 21 years, be 21 years old to buy any gun, and and also in that they make it so you have to have a three-day waiting period to buy any gun. You can't just walk in the store, put your money down, and walk out. Uh, and also, uh, they made it so that uh, certain school uh, employees could be armed. Um, well, that's a good thing. Well, uh, that's a fine thing. It should, it should have never not been that way. There, there should have right. never, there should have never been anything called a a uh, gun free zone. Yeah, gun free zone. Exactly. Thank you very much. My brain's not yeah. really kicking in here. Uh, anyway, so here it is: the story from RT.com, NRA sues Florida over unconstitutional gun law, as if anybody cares about the Constitution at this point in time. It's, 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 a, it's, it's something they just 
don't pay attention to. It's it right. only they only pay attention to it when it suits them. However, today the NRA has filed a federal lawsuit seeking to block restrictions introduced by the newly signed Florida gun control legislation, claiming it violates the Second Amendment. We, which uh, it absolutely does. If you're supposedly an adult at 18, uh, that's what the government considers you. Although the Constitution doesn't even mention anything about being an adult in the first place to purchase a weapon or to own a weapon or to right. have a weapon. Uh, be, it just says it shall not be infringed. It doesn't say it shall not be infringed unless, but uh, that's the way they've got it going. Uh, anyway, so they say they filed a, a lawsuit against the state for violating constitutional rights of the 18 to 20 year olds, uh, or said former NRA president and lobbyist Marion Hammer, as cited by the USA Today. The lawsuit argues the new legislation violates fundamental Second Amendment rights. This blanket ban violates the fundamental rights of thousands of responsible. <sighs> I got choke on this phrase. Law yeah, abiding, okay. law abiding <laughs> Florida citizens. And, oh is, and is thus invalid under the Second and Fourth Amendments. Uh, the NRA lashed out at the Florida, Florida legislators and after Governor Rick Scott signed the controversial bill, which will, uh, in particular, raising the minimum age for gun purchases. He says, I'm sure the NRA members that agree with this bill, and maybe some that don't, Scott said, while signing the bill. Uh, I'm an NRA member, he said, and I was an NRA member when I became governor, and I'm going to continue to being one uh, when I'm no longer governor. The legislation was introduced following the tragic false flag February 14th school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. <laughs> which left some students probably dead, and <laughs> it says 14, and some faculty. Um, I thought the number was like 18 or 20 or something. It's 17, I thought. But whatever, they're saying 14 here. Uh, anyway. It's weird. So it requires an extended three-day waiting period for handgun purchases, or gun purchases, handgun purchases, including long guns. Who wrote this? <laughs> three day purchase for handgun purchases including long guns okay well that it bans bump stocks like anybody even cares about a bump stock and it has nothing to do with anything right. it says which convert semi -automatic, automatic firearms into automatic ones huge lie right there huge lie um, <laughs> this affects the Florida age uh, age-based ban to impose significant, unequal, and impermissible burden on the right to keep and bear arms in a class a, a class of millions of the law-abiding 18 to 20 year one year old adult citizens. Okay, free and slave. When we say when when he is saying all slave, we're not saying people were not killed. All right. Right. We're yeah, not saying absolutely. that. We are saying that the story that we're being told is false. That it was military that did that operation. It wasn't this fucking kid that they say it was. I uh, don't doubt there were people killed. I doubt the 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 story. Yeah, no, the story is the story is absolute bullshit. They don't mind killing people. They love killing people. Right. So if they went in there and killed a bunch of kids. Uh, that's a benefit to them. They, they, there's it's people like, there that get off on doing up, that. Yeah. Um, they set up these these people like this this cruise kid. They knew he was in trouble, right? Because they, the cops have been to his house many times. They knew this kid was trouble, so he was a perfect target for a set up as a patsy. Perfect target. And that's exactly what they fucking did. And he didn't go into that school and do this shit. He might have been there or whatever. <laughs> and he might, I don't know what he did, if he did anything, but there was other people in that building shooting, and it wasn't fucking, it was, it was government people. If you're a fucking cop, you work for the fucking government, period. So, that's, that's what I think happens. Right. Yeah, no, it, it's just the, the same way they do in, 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 you know, like in Sandy Hoax. Or, or at the Aurora... You don't believe that? I don't give a shit. But 
the the Aurora you don't School. Think the government's capable of doing shit like that. You haven't done enough research. You 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 can't remember history. Yeah, you you. I don't know how many of y'all watched that. Uh, remember that uh, shooting in Aurora, Colorado, at the theater there when they were showing Batman yep. Darkness or whatever. I it. Um, but but there were reports immediately for, from people there that were in there in the theater saying three or four guys came lined up in front of the place and started shooting people. And then That's they, what they said. right, Inside and, the theater, and, and then they said, oh no 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 no, it was just this one kid. It was it was just this one guy. He's the one. He's the bad guy. Just look at him. He looked at here. He was mentally ill, and he, and and he had problems, and blah blah blah. Um, so. <laughs> So you you want to believe uh, whatever you want to believe on that, but uh, the thing is, um, these are false flags. These are done to 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 push forward an agenda. So did you hear that, everybody? Grim said the same thing I said. Absolutely. You feel the same way on this issue. Yeah, right. It'll it could never happen here. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Grim and I are on the same page when it comes to this. Since, 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 since we're on this topic, we might as well cover this this article here. Yeah. Um, uh, this is posted here on the Daily Coin via the Daily Sheeple. Um, Florida SWAT team members suspended for actually responding to the Parkland shooting. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Flor Florida SWAT team members have been suspended for responding to the Parkland shooting. Uh, the, the Florida SWAT team members uh, have been suspended from duty for responding to the shooting at the school in Parkland on Valentine's Day without permission. Two officers headed to the school before they received orders to do so and will now face punishment. The Florida Sun Sentinel reported on Wednesday that two SWAT officers from the Miramar Police Department who were on duty headed to the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School when they found out a gunman had started shooting, even though they hadn't been instructed to. According to the police department, that created a safety issue. So like a kid inside shooting people up, that's not a safety issue? And that resulted in their suspension. According to The Hill, Detectives Jeffrey Gilbert and Carl Schlosser, the two ossifers, <laughs> were reportedly in the area when the shooting occurred. The coward, Shawnee, the coward Sheriff's Office said Wednesday it could not confirm whether anyone spoke with Miramar that day, but said that Miramar's SWAT team was not needed during the incident because they had their they had their cowards out hiding behind it cars. It wasn't local cops. It was the feds. Fed. Oh, it was just the next town SWAT team, I guess. Either, either way, their their coward cops were hiding behind cars. So, but but apparently SWAT teams were not needed. It says while it may be in a violation of policy to not notify their supervisors they were going there, their intentions were brave and heroic. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, one of the suspended officers uh, told supervisors he was in the Coral Springs area when the gunfire happened. It's not known whether the other drove, uh, where the other drove from. So they they weren't even together. It's just these two guys, these two cops. They, they decided let's go down there and stop this kid from killing a bunch of people. So the third SWAT member, Kevin Gonzalez, was suspended for violating the department's social media code of conduct over posts that portrayed the department in this and the city in a negative light. <laughs> Either way, they they didn't want any uh, people in there going into that school. That um, that weren't part of the setup. That weren't part of the deal. Right, because right. they didn't want anyone else to see what was going on. Why is Moose Girl highlighting that her that her and I are on the same page? Because we are. I don't know why. I mean, why not? Because it. Because it. What? Because it seems like a lot of people don't realize that sometimes. Oh yeah, no, we we definitely. Uh, uh, and uh, oh, and they even mentioned the uh, the Aurora, Colorado movie theater false flag here. Um, <laughs> although they don't call it that, <laughs> they just call it the shooting. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, we do disagree sometimes. But Grim and I are pretty much on the same page with a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, whatever, it, it, whatever. 
Yeah, so whatever. I mean, I mean it is what it is, but uh yeah. uh but but these deals, these these situations uh, where where they have the, where they and you can spot them a mile away. Uh, you know, it's 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 immediate that all of the various different mainstream networks, uh, the CLAP, the corporate lame-ass propaganda, immediately they all have the exact same story. They know the person that did it within seconds, just like 9/11, just like 9/11. Uh, they all they all have that information, um, and, and, and the stories all line up exactly from one. You could be a, you wouldn't even know what network you were on if you didn't see the little. Uh, logo down in the corner because they all are talking the same exact talking points and it's way too quick and and it's way too synchronized and uh, yep. so it's, it's all bullshit it's all bullshit now plan. since the we're plan. in uh huh yeah the plan the plan it's the plan I mean <coughs> anyway since we're in Florida this story came out today, and I thought you would appreciate it, Bruce. Well, I'm not in Florida. <laughs> I know, I know, but you would appreciate the story either way. All right, okay. Ocala man arrested after mother reported finding ISIS material, Koran, in son's room. It's the mother snooping around the kid's room. And he's a, uh, is how old he is here? I don't know if it gives his age. Either way, so the mother's snooping around the kid's room, and she finds a Koran. <laughs> and she calls the uh, the FBI, uh, or or the the police, and they call the FBI, whichever. The FBI and the Ocala man, who have who have spent two years monitoring, scouted out a downtown Ocala location. They spent two years monitoring. Does that sound familiar? Um. <laughs> for a potential sniper attack. Jason J Jonathan Bees was on the FBI's radar after his mother said she found uh, Islamic State group references, whatever that means, in his bedroom. Officials said Bees sought to acquire guns, and we, when he couldn't afford them, he stole them. Well, how's that going to work with your new law? Anyway, in <laughs> investigators said Beast researched terrorist attacks and uh, went to the top of the Ocala National Bank building to scout it out as a possible sniper's nest. <sighs> Court documents said that Beast was there. He took pictures and sent a Facebook message to his girlfriend. I found a good spot for a sniper's nest, Beast said in a message. According to documents, could look uh, could lock everything from uh, the square to 14th and and down another few blocks. And so Beast was arrested last year after investigators said he and his girlfriend Kristen Sparks broke into the trunk of his father's car and stole guns, including an AK-47. Of course. <laughs> when Bee's mother discovered Islam-related items. In their 45th Avenue home, she reported it to deputies. So, Mom obviously wants her kid dead because she called the cops on him. So, and that's a, and that and that's the quickest way to get your kid killed is to call cops on them. For what? Yeah. Oh, he was he did, had he done anything wrong? No, he had some. Uh, Why would the, you call your, the cops on your kid for that? I, well, I, I don't know. Investigators said they discovered a copy of the Koran prayer beads and a Muslim robe. Well maybe oh, he no. was maybe he was just trying to be a Muslim. Maybe he was just anyway, so Beast's mother also discovered writings on his computer referring to ISIS. Didn't say that he oh. was agreeing with them or anything like that. He's just referring to ISIS and that he was in researching travel to the Sudan. <laughs> so far, I, I don't see anything wrong with what he's done here. I don't see anything wrong. And, unless they really did break in and steal the guns, um, that's that's the only thing I, I, I can see that that could possibly be a, a, a thing here. Anyway, he was under surveillance when he stole the weapons. <laughs> So uh, I guess it's good that he's not dead. 
Yeah. But he hasn't hasn't done anything, and he's being locked away for it. Um, and his mother probably thinks, "Oh, what a hero I am for turning in this bad guy." It's her kid, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe she just hated the kid and wanted to get rid of him. Who knows? Uh, I, I mean. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that, that's 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 the world you live in these days. It is, apparently. Um, yeah. It's weird. It's a weird world. All right, well, oh, let's go here on this. See, before oh. we got to the to today and then the Florida law being passed earlier in the week, uh, was it earlier this week? When was this? Uh, March 6th, yeah, it was this week. Uh, uh, up there in uh, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. a 20-year-old sued Dix <laughs> and Walmart over new gun policies. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, or, or I, I yeah, it, an Oregon man, a 20-year-old, uh, filed suits Monday claiming Dix and Walmart's discriminated against the 20-year-old when they refused to sell him a rifle. Dix and Walmart's restricted gun sales to adults 21 and older in the wake of the Florida high school massacre. Which, ridiculous. Uh, and, and I, you know, as far as I know, I don't know that they even said the kid was even using... What kind of gun the kid was even using? Or if uh, they supposedly said he was using. What kid? The 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 Florida guy. Did they even point out a gun? Because you said AK forty seven, didn't they? Uh, I think they said it was an AR fifteen, but I, I, oh, I, I, they they never like plastered yeah, pictures of it all over the place and things like they do. Yeah, they that's what they said. Who you know? Yeah. Um, anyway, it says the 19-year-old accused in the slaying bought the AR-15 in the attack legally. Oregon law allows students to buy shotguns or rifles at 18. Tyler Watson's lawsuit filed against the retailers in two separate counties claimed he faced age discrimination from dicks and Walmarts, or pussies and Walmarts. <laughs> The Oregonian uh, Live reported the lawsuit is believed to be the first filed over the new gun policy, except I think I heard of another one today in uh, Michigan or somewhere, so some other place. Uh, e either way, um, this is different than, than Florida passing a law because, well, Dix and Walmarts, they're private companies. I, I think they're allowed to set their own policies of who they will and won't yeah. sell to. Um so I, I don't think he'll win his lawsuits here. Uh, Probably not. But I do think the Florida law will be overturned, as far as that goes on that. Just, just you think it's going to be overturned? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think they can't just do that. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, they pictured over that airsoft handgun in one picture that I saw, Goop, that they showed. I'm like, I'm looking at the picture. Right, this right. Like, it had the, it had the orange, tip, orange tip on it. And it had the red, it was a red, it looked it, orange or red. It yeah. was looked red in the picture, but I'm like, that's a fucking airsoft gun. I'm like, my kids have those. I can tell right there that that's an airsoft gun. Yeah. And maybe. Like, no, no. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. So. Anyway, that's all the gun shit I got. I, I, don't, I don't really care. Um, I got one gun thing, though. All right, go ahead. Well, it's not really a gun thing. It's more of a stupid thing. But, um, so this kid that the boys know, that neighbor kid. How did you get He's 18 now. But the boys, when they were younger, played, hung out with them and stuff, you know. Anyway, he got arrested for burglary. Okay. With another guy. And... They busted these guys through social media because what they would do is they would find out when people were going to be gone from their house. Right. And then they'd go there when they were gone and rip them off. 
you know. Oh, clever. Yeah, so anyway, um, they linked to five burglaries at four houses during a six-month span. Uh, October 5th, 2017, Potter burglarized the first home listed in the complaint located on Vienna Terrace on Eau Claire's west side. Investigators say said among the items taken were two Apple MacBooks and an AR-15 style rifle. Uh, a reported burglary on East Fillmore Avenue on November 8th was the first time Potter's name was listed as a suspect. The complaint states the home was cluttered and it would be difficult to determine if items were stolen. Uh, so he probably didn't take anything from there. Yeah. Or if he did, it wasn't of value. Then December 1st, another burglary is reported on Cindelaire Drive in the town of Washington. One of the items reported stolen from the residence was a Mossberg 20 gauge pump shotgun of a Beretta model 9240 caliber handgun and a PlayStation 4 game system. Uh, the final home listed in the complaint was on Mitchell Road in the town of Brunswick. The complaint states two burglaries took place there on January 30th and February 1st and represented the highest value of items taken. Weapons were again a target with three handguns and a concealable body armor vest among the items missing. It's definitely in the higher end of residential reviews that we've seen in the recent past. Check is on heading with the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Department said to WEAU News 13 on Friday. Right. Anyway, they got all the items. This kid's looking at 149 years in prison. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's not, actually, because... Probably well, not. He'll be dead long before that. <laughs> but anyway, they they did use social media. Uh, the cops did to bust these guys. Yeah. So anyway, this is I just knew this kid was on the wrong path, and I feel you know I just it sucks to see this, but right, he's kind of been going down that road. Yeah, well, I remember you telling me about him years back, and uh, yeah, he he was a troublemaker. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen, but that was stupid. Right. Now I, anyway. I know free enslaved. I I know you're 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 joking around and you're making a point here with this comment, but uh, he says babies should be given guns as soon as they're able to lift it over their heads, uh, which is obviously you know no, nobody actually believes that. Um, but however, if you start your kids off shooting at a young age, uh, whatever, just target practice or, or whatever, just, just hunting or whatever, hunting, yeah, uh, at a young age, um, you know, whatever, eight years old or t ten years old or something like that, and, and they get normal and uh, around guns, uh, then, then then that's a good thing, it's not a bad thing at all, um, normal and comfortable ar around those kind of things, it, it, it's, it's good for the kids, uh, you know, they used to do it in schools, so they used to be part of your normal school. You could walk around school with a gun if you if you had one. People would drive up to school with you know gun racks in the back of their pickup trucks, you know, and they were going to maybe go hunting after after school. Right, just a tool. It's like going to wood shop, to, you know, using a hammer and a saw, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I understand. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's, that's that's all. That's our gun stuff. And sorry about those kids over there in Wisconsin. That's terrible. Um, but uh, let's hear some more music, shall we? What kids in Wisconsin? Those ones you were talking about. Oh, yeah. You know, they were dumb, though. Those they bad... shouldn't be ripping people off like that. No, absolutely That's... not. Absolutely not. But stealing is stealing is lame, man. Stealing sucks. Stealing, stealing is lame. Well, I don't care what you're stealing. If it's a gun or anything, I don't care. Stealing is just plain simply lame. So yeah, that was no. really dumb for them to do that. that, that definitely, no doubt about it. So, yeah, okay, let's hear some tunes. All righty here. Well, what we got here coming up for you first is uh, a track from earlier this year by John Five and the Creatures. Right. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, that is a band there called Bad Wolves, doing a very great tribute there to Dolores O'Riordan uh, with their cover of the, the song Zombie. Uh, a few updated lyrics. Uh, the 
Mark the Mark the tribute there. So uh That's cool. Yeah, excellent excellent uh, cover there. Before that we had uh Deborah Harry and Blondie doing uh Mark Bolin and T Rexes banging a gong. Uh Blab Blondie banging a gong, but I tell you, man. Uh, awesome. That was a good song. Yeah, anyway, we kicked it off there with John 5 and the Creatures doing a song called Making Monsters. That, that boy could play some guitar. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what is this yoga thing? Moose Girl. Did I post it? Ma 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 oh, it's funny. It's ma funny. All right, we'll put it. We'll put it in there. <laughs> it's funny. Trust me, it's funny. It's hilarious. Well, I wasn't sure. I just see the name. It's here. a Wisconsin thing. All I right. posted a couple of them. That this guy has done a, did a couple. He does a couple of short videos, and they're they're in, in Wisconsin. Uh -oh. They're just they're funny. They he, he's hilarious. Okay. So, well, okay. I hope hopefully everyone else will like. But, All right. You should. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know. Popeyes is all over Benoit. We don't even have them up here in Eau Claire. You gotta go down south to get them again, Popeye. No, no, they, there's Popeyes in San Diego. There's Popeyes in yeah, Albuquerque. There's Popeyes everywhere, man, all over the place. There's, it's not a Wisconsin thing by far. I, I, don't, I don't go there because there's no, they're not in my area. I, I, when I lived in Oceanside, there's not one here in Eau Claire or near here. Yeah. yeah when, I, when I when I lived in Oceanside, uh, I went to Popeyes a couple of times. They're, they're all right. They've yeah. expanded, I think, because I think they are in Minnesota now, like in the cities. So they have definitely expanded. So I think they used to, they started in the south, I think. Oh right. But I'm not sure. Right, right, right. Um. Anyway, uh, before 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 we move on, and I yes. do definitely want to move on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> from the whole gun thing. Okay. Because it kind of bores me a little bit. Just they're more of their nonsense. Cowboy Tech posted this here. Uh, some some. Uh, stuff um, from uh, Wiki. Anyway, he said he had an email uh, with Hal. Uh, Sum of result, nice and simple, corporations should be liable to the, to their federal FFL, which uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't, I don't agree with the FFL b being in existence in the first place, uh, but whatever. He says, which should make them liable to the federal age discrimination laws, additionally to the Second Amendment, uh, as a right, not a choice. Uh, and then from 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 the wiki, uh, it specifies here: unorganized militia, composing the reserve militia, able-bodied men of at least 17, and are under 45 years of age, not a member of the National Guard or Naval militia. He could also contend that the state law limit uh, to 18 is in violation of the federal 17-year-old mandate. For all of those uh, in the nation having a right, obligation, or duty to be, be to be prepared, pursuant to the second and or the militia uh, there, so um, yeah, I, I I like I said I, I don't necessarily agree uh, or I'm opposed to having an FFL in the first place, but if he can use that uh, in his favor, since it is their rules and their laws, um, more power to him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and I don't get to claim or get the child tax credit this year because the boys are 17. So explain me that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because they're not going to be 17 for the whole year. That's yeah. why. So, uh, I, I, it I, makes I, sense for 2017 because for 2017 they were 17 the whole year. Like, everyone, right. you know what I mean? Right. I mean, the. the they were 17 in May of last year, of 2017. So, okay, uh, really? Now, I was, like, shocked. Now, now it spec specifies in here, and, and, and just, okay. just, tell, just, just tell me if I'm reading this right. It says that during colonial America, all able-bodied men of certain ages were eligible for militia. Able-bodied men of certain ages. And then down here below... Under unorganized militia, says so composing the reserve militia, every able-bodied man of at least 17 and under 45 years of age. So at 45, I, I guess you're no longer able-bodied. <laughs> is that is that what I'm reading here? 
<laughs> at 45, you're a geezer. Go sit down somewhere and throw, throw things at kids walking on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for me, I guess. <laughs> elderly, yeah, 45 is elderly. <laughs> uh, maybe it was in colonial America. I don't know. You still there, Moose? Yep. Okay. Well, you've heard of the uh, Amazon Alexa thing, right? Yeah, oh, God. Oh, yes, I have. And I have a story about this one. Okay, oh, I well, think I know where you're going with this. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, this is posted... Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is posted on neonnettle.com. It's, cre it's creepy, dude. It's creepy. Ne neonnettle.com. Uh, this is why I don't want Alexa. Yeah, go, go ahead. Amazon Alexa's users left terrified <laughs> after the device starts <laughs> laughing at them. <laughs> users run away in terror after the devices started giggling. <laughs> Since A Amazon's po widely popular virtual assistant device, Alexa, has caused many of its users to run away in terror after it began to laugh for no reason, no apparent reason. Uh, reports say Amazon's artificial intelligence-driven Alexa would suddenly burst into laughter, prompting a flood of complaints from scared users. According to the Bloomberg report, Amazon is apparently aware of the laughing issue. Uh, yeah, no doubt. And it's working to fix it. Uh, they say, hit the mute button before you start laughing, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> telling their people that work for them, I mean, or the NSA guys, whatever. Uh, some users also claim, uh, yeah, also claim the, 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 it says decide, I think it means device, uh, began yeah. laughing in response to an unrelated or misunderstood command. So it didn't understand what they were saying and it laughed at them. While others said Alexa just began laughing randomly. Yes. Uh, last year, an anonymous woman asked uh, Amazon Alexa series if it was connected to the CIA. The virtual assistant shut down after it was interrogated <laughs> about its connections with the U.S. Nice. government agency. Ours, nice. te ours Technica reports it's not uncommon for Echo devices. It's also Amazon, right? Echo yes. uh, devices to hear sounds and mistake them for a user's wake word. Amazon smart speakers can smart speakers. Oh my God, uh, can be programmed to respond to a few words. Alexa is the most common, but other options like Echo and Amazon are available as well. Uh, these bouts of laughter could be a byproduct of Echo devices mistakenly hearing their wake words. <laughs> Reported situations of unprompted laughter in silent homes are obviously quite creepy. Some users have resorted yeah. to unplugging their Echo devices to ensure Alexa cannot interject anything, ominous or not. He says, while my Echo device has lit up and responded to random noises in my home a few times, I've never experienced the laughing issue. Asked Alexa, how do you laugh? Echo replied, sure, I could laugh. Tee hee. It's always worth checking out the history section of the Alexa mobile app in situations like this, since Echo devices are always listening for their wake words. Uh, they record and save clips to the cloud every time they hear something that they think Alexa needs to respond to. Everything you say being recorded to the cloud. Users can review and delete these clips at any time. Well, <laughs> sure, you can delete. Yeah, right. You can delete the part that you see, but not the yeah. part that Amazon and the NSA see. Uh, right. There was an update here on uh, yesterday. An Amazon rep provided the following statement to ARS, explaining that Alexa's unprompted laughter was caused by an incorrectly heard phrase. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Why would you want one of these in your home? I can't imagine. <laughs> Why would you want this? I, I just, I, 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 do I, you? I, 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 I don't know what it does for you, but, but get it out of your house. Hey, oh my God, never have one of those. Now I can understand if this thing was in Hansel's house and it started laughing at him. 
because I'd laugh at him, too, if I was there. <laughs> but I heard that they're going to turn it off or whatever. <coughs> well, they, I, or they're going to change it or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's just creepy and weird and wrong and why 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 would you want that in yeah like you asked why why would you want that in your house that that's that's just fucked up that's just wrong yeah it's messed up all right I have a little follow up here to a story we covered right. a few weeks back I guess now I don't know how long it's been um yeah, you remember the Powerball winner trying to keep her uh, her name private yeah okay. Well, she got she got her cash, but she's still in the battle to keep her name anonymous. Um, apparently, uh, the, the New Hampshire woman holding the January sixth, five hundred fifty nine million dollar Powerball ticket, who has been fighting to both receive the money and keep her identity a secret. Whoop! Quit moving on me here. Why, why are you moving on me? Um, <laughs> uh, re received her post tax winnings of two hundred sixty four million. So she had gotten one five hundred fifty five hundred fifty nine million, and she got two hundred sixty four million. <laughs> and then it, it talks about her plans uh, to give some of her money to these various charities and uh, such things like that. Which it's none of nobody's business what she's going to do with her money. No, oh, it's not. But her fight to keep her identity from uh, becoming public continues, and for practical reasons, remaining anonymous makes sense uh, to Nick Holman, a certified financial planner. It makes sense to me, too, uh, at an online investment company called Betterment. Uh, anyone holding a winning ticket should try to stick to some ground rules, such as maintaining a low profile. Well, no shit, Dick Tracy. Anyway, um uh, she, she's in kind of a little bit, a bit of a bind because she did sign the ticket, and the ticket does say on it, these are the rules, and, and, and you will have to, uh, you know, be known publicly. Um, so she did agree to that through a, a since she signed a written contract um, with, without making any changes. She had, should have had her talk to a lawyer prior to that, I guess. But either way, she got her money. So that's a good thing, and hopefully she wins. Yeah. And they change the rules up there in New Hampshire. I don't know how it is. I mean, it's, it varies from state to state as to whether yeah. or not you, you need to become. Um, that's right, uh, 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 Anani Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Any Moose. Any Moose, yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So good luck to her. Yeah. So anyway, I don't know if you saw this story, but. Oh, never mind. Oh, go ahead. August. It's, it's from 26. Uh, but, but is it still relevant? Yeah. Okay, well then. Okay. NASA confesses to dosing Americans with airborne lithium and other chemicals. All oh, right, Grammy was talking about this earlier. Awareness Act. Yeah. Um. I saw this just before we went on air. I was away for a while. Before. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, if you don't know about chemtrails by now or you are a skeptic, we have various articles on the subject you should check out here. Recently, a video has been circling around of a NASA employee admitting that lithium is being sprayed in the atmosphere. The NASA employee admits that lithium is being sprayed in the atmosphere, and in the video, he also says that it is harmless to the environment. Quote, unquote. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was a pharmaceutical drug that is used to treat people with manic depression or bipolar disorder. The medication alters how we think by changing the levels of serotonin and norepinephrine epinephrine, uh, secreted by our endocrine, endocrine system. Lithium strongly alters the brain system, yet the NASA employee in the above states that it is not dangerous and does not harm the population. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, go okay, on. So it says, goes on to say, um, doctors who regularly prescribe this medication for the mentally ill have said that it is dangerous because it is hard to figure out proper dosing. So the logical thought would be that spraying copious amounts of lithium in the air via aerosol is not safe, especially for the people who do not need it. Lithium has a dangerous has a lot of dangerous side effects such as excessive urination, seizures, suicidal thoughts, 
suicidal thoughts, fever, confusion or hallucinations, swelling of the hands and feet, diarrhea or vomiting, as well as many more. Now well, here is NASA's official <laughs> stand. As long as all those side effects don't hit you at one time, you're probably, well. <laughs> you start, it says, if, you, if you start having a seizure while you're excessively urinating. Right, no, that would not be good. <laughs> Uh, the project is, this is from NASA now, the official stance on the practice. The project is studying neutral and charged particles in the ionosphere and how each affects the way the other moves, resulting in current in the region. That's bullshit. Variations matter because all of our communications and GPS satellites send signals through the ionosphere. Disturbed ionosphere translates to disturbed signals. So scientists want to know just what causes the ionosphere to behave in specific ways. Blah 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 blah. Well, no, and, and I, but I see I could understand. Uh, I mean, it, it, it makes a perfect uh, excuse because lithium, being metallic, extremely yes. light metallic, um, could could um, meet some of what they're talking about there. Okay. Uh, but uh, it says to corroborate this information given to the NASA employee in the video is the code 8440RMMO, which states that the exact purpose of using Wallops flight facility to launch a rocket containing lithium thermite. Thermite. Okay, so the primary purpose of this mission was to test the loading methods for lithium canisters to be flown on the upcoming. Kudiki and FAF missions and verify the functionality under sounding rocket launch and space flight conditions. Yeah. Which I do not understand at all. No, I, I, the thing is, uh, they're, they're, I just don't trust them, that's all. Yeah, I mean, this the, article is kind of BS because it's, well, it's it's to point it out, basically. Um, at the end, it's there's a quote. It is they who pull the wires which control the public mind. From Edward L. Bernays, a master propagandist. It is they who pull the wires which yeah. control the public mind. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, okay. <laughs> I, have, I have a couple they're of... They're still doing it. It's from 2016, but they're still doing it. Oh, oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. I mean, I see them all the time. Chem trials. Yeah. So, I, I, I have a... I have a couple I have a couple of... Um, what would you call them? Uh, positive... Uh, possibly... Uh, possibly... Possibly positive stories here. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> uh, from futurism.com, using nano drops to repair corneas could ultimately replace glasses. Hmm. So it says new eye drops developed by researchers from some company I can't pronounce. Uh, it's a, some Jewish company. Um, in Israel, can improve both nearsightedness and farsightedness, the inventors claim. However, so far, the nanodrops have only... Get this thing out, a little pop-up thing, trying to tell me to sign up. Uh, have only been successful testing on pigs. Israel, testing on pigs. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Anyway, the eye drops are a new concept for correcting refractory problems. Uh, one of the ophthalmologists who worked on the eye drops... Uh, said, reported on the Jerusalem Post, the patented drops use nanotechnology to improve vision. According to the National Eye Institute, both children and adults can develop either nearsighted or farsightedness. Around 5 to 10 percent of Americans suffer farsightedness, and it becomes likely to develop if uh, both parents are farsighted. Nearsightedness currently affects 42 percent of the people between the ages of 12 and 54. 
in urban environments, blah, blah, blah. Either way, you got these, these cool drops, and um, maybe sometimes you, you'll be able to uh, actually use these things um, and, and uh, suddenly see better. And wouldn't that be cool? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. And then there's also this other story on the eye situation here. Where would my little deal go? Um, <laughs> which sounds a little scarier, but um, maybe more even better. <laughs> and this is from this is from expandyourconsciousness.com. Bionic contacts. <laughs> it says goodbye glasses, hello vision. That's three times better than 2020. It says, uh, most of us take our vision for granted. As a result, we take the ability to read, write, drive, uh, and a complete multitude of other tasks for granted. However, unfortunately, sight is not so easy for everyone. For many people, s simply seeing is a struggle. In fact, more than 285 million people worldwide have vision problems. Cataracts account for about a third of these. Uh, more than half of all Americans will have cataracts or will have had cataract surgery by the time they are 80 and... Uh, low and middle income countries there's a leading cause of blindness but now people with vision problems may have a new hope cataracts may be a thing of the past and even better it may be possible to see a staggering three times better than 2020 vision oh and you could do it all without wearing glasses or contacts so what exactly does having three times better vision mean if you can currently read a text that is 10 feet away, you'd be able to see, read the same text from 30 feet away. What's, oh. more, what's more, people who can't currently see properly might see a lot better than the average person. <sighs> Get this stupid, I don't want to sign up to your Facebook. <laughs> I hate these things. <laughs> they pop, you're in the middle of reading shit, and these little things oh, pop up. Join my whatever, and it's like, fuck off. Um, either way, basically, they've got to do surgery on you. They've got to remove your uh, cornea and, and replace it with this super cornea. Oh, okay. Um, that sounds kind of iffy. Yeah, yeah. see, that's the problem. I, I mean, I yeah. would love to have that, that supervision, uh, too, like I did when I was a kid, when I was, you know, probably until I was 30 or something. Um, 40, maybe, I had supervision. Oh, I had good vision until I was... Yeah. I mean, uh, tel 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 telescopic vision. I, I mean, I could see anything nobody could see, else could see. <laughs> it was amazing. But that's all gone now. I, I, have, I have major trouble seeing seeing a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So I would love to have these bionic contacts, but uh, I don't want nobody cutting on my eye. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So no. that, 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 that poses a little bit of an issue. <laughs> yeah, that could be iffy. Slenderman uh, is the topic on Coast to Coast tonight, according to Hansel. Okay. Yeah. That's a boring topic. Yeah, so it's just uh, about a fake guy. Yeah, unless you're talking about those two girls, but other than that, it's really kind of, it, it doesn't exist, obviously, so. Yeah. Because it's an internet meme. It started on the internet. Right, right. It's not a real thing. That's my take. Mine too. Uh, so, uh, you want to play some more music, or you got another story? Yeah, or? let's do that. Yeah. All right. I'm kicking off here. Oh, oh, I, this, I guess this first one's not actually music. Yeah. No. It. Hopefully, you guys like this and think it's funny. I thought it was hilarious, but you might not. Anyway, so, we're playing it. There you go, Man Manitowoc Manitowoc Minute. All right. Here you go. Hey dear folks, I was told that we got some goat yoga going on. I like guns. I like guns. I like guns. Yeah, I'm with you there, Steve. Steve Lee. Uh, I like guns. A freaker's ball classic on uh, that particular track there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's got some great uh, lyrics to it, and I hope you uh, hopefully you are all singing along during the "I Like Guns" <laughs> part. <laughs> anyway, before that, that um, uh, 
discordant music in the freaky video was a band called A Place to Bury Strangers with a song called Never Coming Back. Very interesting, uh, cool stuff. I like it. Uh, before that, we had the Black Angels with their song Telephone, kind of sounding a little beetle-ish there, and we kicked it off with the uh, Goat Yoga. <laughs> And I did laugh during that movie, uh, but I thought it was uh, pretty hilarious. <laughs> you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Well, you can't hear me? I got a kick out of it, too, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Place to bury it's strangers. It's not amazing that it yeah. happened in Wisconsin. It doesn't matter where it happened. That has nothing to do with anything, Jadron. He's talking about this Slender Man thing, yeah, these no, two I... girls. It's old news. We've discussed this story since it happened, what, four years ago? Yeah. We have discussed this case several times. We even discussed it recently when they got sentenced. And, yeah, you're late to the party, man, <laughs> on this one. Day late to Dollar Short. Several times. What? Day late and a dollar short. He must not have been listening. He must not have heard those songs when we were discussing that story. Yeah, probably not. So, it's been talked about on this show. And oh, yeah. guess what? Slender Man still doesn't exist, and those girls were freaking nuts. Yeah. And they were 12. They were 12, and they were dumb, and they, they bought into this fake thing. Right. And they were mentally ill on top of it, which doesn't help. So, there you go. Yeah. I, I mean, if if you see a movie or a TV show or hear a song or read a story or whatever, and it makes you go out and, and do whatever is being done there, you got a problem. There's a problem with you. Yeah. <laughs> there, Something's wrong with your mind. You're, 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 right. not, you're, not, you're, you're, just, you're not right. <laughs> you're not right in the head. Exactly. Yeah. So... Um, that's what happened, and now they're sentenced to mental institutions. So, there you go. Yeah. So, you can just, you know, picture one flew over the cuckoo's nest in your head and see them there. Or, yes. Or, 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 or as my preference would be, uh, American Horror Story Asylum. <laughs> Yeah, oh, great. Oh, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> like, I can't click a link right now because I'm actually broadcasting the show I'm on air right now. So if I were to click a link, I'd have to mute and yeah, watch you, the you, thing. You mean a video link? Yeah, a video link. Yeah. I can't watch a video link right now. Yeah. I can click a link, but not a video link. That's what I meant. Okay, Hans, since you're... Since there you're, will be copycats. There hasn't been in four years or since the event happened, since the incident happened, that I know of. Yeah, and, and the stories, you, you can't know... can't make blanket statements like that. You don't know. You can't read the fucking future. You are not a, a mind reader, and you're not a fucking, what do they call it, fortune teller. <laughs> uh, anyway, Hans, since you're here now... And I know we we talked about this in the chat, but I'm going to talk about it here right now. Okay. <laughs> Trump names notorious anti-porn crusader who wants stripper <laughs> registry to the health department. Oh and that's not all he's infamous for. The notorious Republican official who led quixotic crusades against pornography, unregulated stripping, and medical marijuana, has been appointed to the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Medical marijuana... It's Coyote. What? Don Coyote. So what? the word is Coyote. What did I say? The key word. What did I say? The, I don't know what you said. Quixotic. Yeah, it's Coyote. No, no, it's not. It's Quixotic. It's are you sure? I don't know. That's the way I've always said it. It, it means Don Quixote. It's in reference to Don Quixote. That's yeah, how but, I took it. Yeah, but how is it? Quixotic? 
that's how you that's how you that's how it's spelled. Keotic. Q Q U I X O T E. Oh no, it's I C at the end. Okay, never mind then. But that's in reference to that. I'm pretty sure. Whatever. I say quixotic. Okay, the answer head agrees with me. Okay, well he's from a different country, so he doesn't count. <laughs> oh, <laughs> burn. burn! Anyway, this asshole that led <laughs> that led crusades against medical marijuana has been appointed to the Department of Health and Human Services. That's not good. That's not a good thing. Pennsylvania State Rep Matt Baker told Politics Blog that he was about to run for re-election when Trump tapped him to a bureaucratic position. It was two days away from uh, mailing my petitions to seek the 14th term in office when the White House liaison office called me, and I had to make a quick decision, Baker said. Uh, Baker said, likely... This means the death of a controversial bill he introduced to brand pornography as a public health crisis. Pornography, a public health crisis. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, my <laughs> fucking God, dude. Get off, you fucking high horse. <laughs> he says, due to advances in technology, young children are now exposed to hardcore pornography. It's for the children. Yeah, right. Uh, the, the adverse public health effects of this are real and need to be confronted with education, prevention, and research and policy change at the community level. Oh, my God. Uh, this, uh, to address this epidemic. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? These are the people your boy Trump is appointing there to his cabinet. Yeah, total douchebag. All all the people he picks are just just horrible. I, I mean, they are. They're fucking awful. <laughs> for for whatever position, and uh, he you know he whatever people think. Oh no, he's a small government guy. Like fucking shit, he is. He is a he is a globalist through and through. Oh wait, I oh, forgot. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> the word globalist is now racist or anti-Semitic. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have a link to that story, but uh, yeah, if you use the word globalist now to refer to people, I think it's, I think well, I think it was an Alex Jones story. I saw a link to it earlier today. Uh, <laughs> but if but, that, but apparently that's true. If you use the word globalist, you're you're suddenly anti-Semitic. Whatever. <laughs> no, Sessions is a piece of shit. And I, oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. He's a piece of shit. I, Pence, I don't know much about except for the fact that he's he's a, a piece of shit too. He's a super, you know, super Christian dude. And, yeah. Um, and, you can't and, trust and, them. And, and he would no, no, he can't because they want to outlaw everything. Yeah, and they're it, insane. Yeah. So, and this guy putting this guy who's against medical marijuana is, right. is uh, in the Health and Human Services Department. No. No, bad no, no, no. This, this, this is just wrong. Yeah, bad decision. This is just, this is just ugly and horrible and terrible, and and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but speaking of pornography, although not really pornography, and I talked to, uh, I mentioned this to uh, Gooberzilla earlier in this week. Because I know there's some people. Anybody over here? A anybody over here? Yeah, exactly. We're not even talking about the about the tariff bullshit because that that, that is just a bunch of crap. Uh, See, I I posted that last night about that. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, I, I I mentioned this to Gooberzilla earlier this week, and and I know he's here in the states, but if we've got any uh, Brits out there listening, this may interest you if you're a male Brit. <laughs> and you're looking for a job? <laughs> <laughs> Company post job advert for Brit sex doll tester. <laughs> and you can get... Oh, oh perfect job for you! <laughs> and you can get 35,000 pounds for romping with robots. <laughs> there you go, Uber. That's a you good... you got to move to the UK. you got to move to the UK. That, that's good pay. All you got to do they is... They want you. They need you. Silic Silicone Sex World is looking for someone who's willing to try it, try out its latest products in London. The company 
advertising its job for the new sex doll tester, and the successful candidate will earn 35k pounds a year. Good. That's pretty good. A, a adult toy firm, Silicone Sex World. <laughs> All right. Yeah, <laughs> says, says it's looking for someone who's willing to try out the latest products and join the team at their Hatton Garden, uh, London base. The sex yes. doll, the, the sex doll company is looking for a new tester. Uh, the newly formed role offers flexible hours as well as 22 holidays per year, plus bank Ooh. holidays, a free gym membership, and a company mobile phone. That's pretty good perks there. Okay. Well, the, the, then there's this it might be a catch. I don't know. Um, uh, perks also include family and friends discounts for the r wide range of male sex doll products uh, offered by the firm. <laughs> awesome. You get a discount on the products, too. Uh, now, it, it doesn't say that these are necessarily sex doll products for men or males. They say male sex doll products. Hmm. Uh, so okay. it could be, uh, might need to test out the uh, male sex dolls as well. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that might not be so good for, yeah, no, that might not be. Responsibilities include personally testing new ranges and providing detailed feedback to manufacturers. Uh, the new tester will be expected to attend industry events. Well, what's your job? I screw, I screw sex dolls. That's sex my job. Dolls. <laughs> Let's have sex bots. <laughs> For a living. Oh. Male and female. Male and female sex bots. The firm says it isn't essential to have worked in the adult industry before, but a passion for sex dolls and a keen eye for detail is an important part of the role. <laughs> a passion for sex dolls. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, it. then. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Silicone Perfect set, set. job, though. You got to move to the UK, but I'd go for yeah. it. Yeah. You know, if that was my thing, I'd definitely be signed up for that. Women never had their own silicone rubber friend under their beds. Well, you know, I, I don't know if that's true or not, free enslaved. Uh, I, I, I imagine some women probably have a variety of uh, sexual aids. <laughs> uh, whether, whether they are, they're attached to a doll or not, who knows? But yeah, um, probably not. Anyway, there you go. You can uh, uh, dip your wick in the. That would be an interesting job. In the silicone, I wonder. It if could it, be if that was your thing and you were into that. You uh, wanted, you know. I wonder. I wonder if I like they. Do they, do they watch you while you're doing it? <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. Probably. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, weird. Now, you tell me what you think of this. This this uh, came out on the Metro the other day, metro.co.uk. Okay. Yeah. And to me, well, I'll, I'll tell it first, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Right. Pork pie ice cream exists. And we're not sure what to make of it. <laughs> the pork, pork pie. The pork pie scream cones, uh, courtesy of Pie Minster, a pie shop based in Brixton. It's, all, it's also another British thing, so maybe when you're done screwing your sex doll, you can go have some pork pie ice cream. Uh, there you go. It, it, it comes in the celebration of British Pie Week. Uh, the dessert features a soft-serve vanilla ice cream, mixed with bourbon maple syrup and free-range British bacon, uh, which comes served in a waffle cone, pie crust, and garnished with pork scratchings and applesauce. Mmm. Mmm. Pie, pie co-founder uh, Tristan Hogg, I wonder if she's related to that David Hogg, uh, told the Evening Standard that the salty and sweet concoction works perfectly together. He said it's been great fun to turn our pie-making hands on to something else for a change. The combination of sweet vanilla, bourbon, and maple syrup works brilliantly with a tart applesauce and salty bacon. It says, if you're not totally sold on the pork pie ice cream, Pie Minster, which is located in Brixton, also serves up pie ice creams, including mud pie, apple pie, and cherry pie. That would be good. Let's face it, the pork pie ice cream 
is at least worth a try. To me, this sounds delicious. <laughs> well, bacon, come on. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, and yeah. And maple syrup? Yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, absolutely. And uh, vanilla ice cream, that's my favorite ice cream anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, there you go. <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but that that sounds like the, the, uh, a great combination there. Right? And you could probably make your own at home because uh, you're not gonna. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, so you need maybe some applesauce to go in there too, because you got the pork. You know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon <laughs> with the bourbon whiskey in the ice cream does sound pretty good. Yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. know about the applesauce part. Like, I really don't think you need the applesauce part. No, maybe not, but uh, I like making applesauce right. anyway. It might be good. I mean, no, it might be, add something to it. Uh, applesauce is really easy to make, and, and I like making it, so. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't buy that. I don't buy that jarred shit. See, I, I don't buy that either. Yeah, but you can just, you know, take a couple apples and boil them up, you know, peel them down and chop them and boil them, and, and then, you uh, I got a recipe for it. Anyway, it's, it's, it's oh, simple. Nice. It's simple and easy to do. Yeah. See, uh, if I'm going to have applesauce, I'm going to make my own. From now on. Absolutely. Because it is easy, like you say. It's just mashed apples, right? And not even ma you don't even have to mash them until after. Well, you, you, after you boil them up, they're really they're really soft. Yeah, it's, it's super simple. So. Right. Yeah. Cool. Um. So yeah. Um. It's a crazy freaking world, but <laughs> we're living in it. So, do you like fish? What do you mean? In what way? Like fish? Eat? Like eat, eat fish? Yeah, fish to eat. Yeah, yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. You like you like flounder? I like I I've, I've had flounder. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, good. Well, um, here you go. This might be. Self-cooking flounder. I don't know. It doesn't mention that here. <laughs> Self-cooking. <laughs> Fukushima flounder exported for the first time since nuclear disaster. <laughs> they what? <laughs> exported for the first oh, time. Oh, God. <laughs> since the nuclear disaster. So, uh, Soma Fukushima, known as the pride of the Joban region along the Pacific coast, flounder caught off Fukushima prefecture were exported on February 28th for the first time since the nuclear disaster seven years ago. Oh, no. <laughs> that can't be good fish. Self-cooking flounder. The shipment... That can't be good fish. Good. <laughs> anyway, this, no. this, this, isn't, this isn't coming here. It's this this shipment's going to make its way to Bangkok and then Japan uh, and, and, and Thai, the Thai, Thai capital. Um, wow. Close to one ton of flounder by the end of March... Um, on February 28th, roughly 100 kilograms of the ocean-caught fish were stacked into ice-filled cases, and each uh, flounder weighed between one and a half to two keys. Uh, Soma Futuba Fisheries caught the uh, fish. Wh wh whatever. Uh, the thing is, they're, um, <laughs> yeah, self-cooking flounder. Radioactive. I don't know what else to say. So I'm like it hot, yes. <laughs> yes. Very hot. Oh God. <laughs> wow. Now they're saying and they say here this is the first time since then that any fish from there has been has been exported. I don't this, I, I, I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. They I mean one of their main industries over there is fish. Right. And so um I'm thinking this is the first time they've announced it that it's happening. You know, they may have been right, ca yes. catching fish, you know, wherever uh, there for a long time and saying it's for, from some other area for you know quite a while. Right. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. So, but I, I would imagine maybe you get some like three-eyed fish like on the Simpsons, and uh, right, probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Okay. All kinds of mutant fish. Mutations and stuff. That was why I was thinking, I'm like, do they all look normal or are they fucking deformed and all fucked up? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. In some I, way. I couldn't really tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, anyway, let's play another set here, and we'll come back. <laughs> Talk about whatever. Goofy Alrighty. shit. Alrighty. Goofy shit's going on in the world. There's oh, so, yeah. There's so much of it. There is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. It's a band called Dorothy. Um, doing a song called Raise Hell. They're, they're a good band. You might want to check them out, too. Uh, along with other bands that I've played for you here that you may not have known or recognized. Um, so check it out, Dorothy. Uh, before that, we had the infamous String Dusters doing a track called The Place That I Call Home, and a little interview there before that. And we kicked it off with the uh, great uh, Swing Growers doing That's Right. <laughs> so... I always like uh, getting uh, new music to you guys, you know, stuff you haven't heard before. That's cool. It's really yeah. cool. That was, I like that band. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Little, little, uh, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> kind of a dirty, dirty rock. Right, right, yeah, kind of a, what do you call it, Cajun uh, swamp, swamp rock. Yeah. Swamp yeah, rock. Something like that. Yeah. Good stuff, though. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Well, I always, always enjoy I check out new bands all the time. <laughs> so, I, I, I look in through the various things. Oh, I never, I never heard of these guys. Let's see what they sound like. <laughs> What's that? I don't have anything. I got some more of those Nats fucking minutes. I think I requested a couple more of those. Oh, well, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I got I got stuff. Um, All right. Hey, you know, I always get stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just uh, getting, the, uh, getting, the, getting the stuff set, set up here. I got two... And uh, six and a I half. I was say. Six and a half. Public service three, announcement. Thirteen and a half. Good idea to change your batteries and your smoke detectors and stuff. Fourteen, fourteen. Uh, Just fourteen. To do it 18, once a year. 18, it's a good 18, idea. Eighteen. Eighteen would give me, what, uh, forty. Forty-two. Okay. Forty-two. Remember that. Forty-two. The answer to life, do you know, <laughs> the answer to everything. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go back. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, I don't know if I've covered this story before or not. If I did, for some reason, I didn't take it out of here. But here it is. Here it is, in case you need to know. Former Area 51 worker claims he's flown a UFO and traveled through time. I believe it. Yep, yep. It says, a man who claims to be a former Area 51 worker says he was recruited by the American government to pilot a UFO spaceship in a staggering new video. In the clip, Robert Miller explains how he used to work for the infamous Air Force Base and has flown a UFO using just his mind. Mr. Oh. Mr. Mr. Miller reveals how alien spacecrafts and evidence of extraterrestrial life is being hidden inside the groom-like facility. He also details a particular memory of when he was asked to test drive one of their flying vehicles. He says, I do remember they brought me inside of the craft and up to the pilot's seat. There was only room for one person in the giant craft. I looked around the cockpit and only saw a seat. No joystick, no steering wheel, no other controls. There was, however, a helmet. They told me the craft was controlled telepathically. I was told to imagine the craft start to float off the ground, but it didn't work. Instead, I had to imagine the craft like part of it, and then begin thinking of myself floating off the ground, and I felt the vibrations. Mr. Miller also suggested they, he may have experienced time traveling after blacking out during the experience. 
He says, I was 500 feet off the ground. The vibrations of the engine stopped. There was no ejection button on the craft, and I was effectively helpless. The craft was plunging towards the ground, and I went unconscious. The next thing I knew, I was in a hospital. A man in a black suit came and explained to me what had happened. He said, right before the craft hit the ground, it just went boom and disappeared. Then, in the middle of the night, they heard a loud crashing sound outside, and the craft had crashed in the same spot. The scientists had hypothesized that the craft had time-traveled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Grams. Uh, couldn't sleep, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. If you uh, want to do some time-traveling um, UFO flying, <laughs> anti head calls BS. I'm I'm just reporting what's here. This is uh I got this on alien UFO sightings dot com, but the source of the article is the Daily Star. And you know how accurate they are. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, why do I have this person in here? Let me let me take a quick look. I, I got some stuff from a little older. That uh, oh yeah, I came across this woman. I never, I, I might have heard her name, but I never really t checked her out before. And I thought you might like some of her stuff. Th this is quotes from Goodreads.com. This woman named Dorothy Parker. You ever heard of her? Uh, no. Well, a lot of her quotes are quite famous, actually, such as okay. "Beauty is only skin deep, but ugly goes clean to the bone." Okay. He says, she says, also, if you want to know what God thinks of money, just look at the people he gave it to. Right. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, let's see here. That's a good one. Um, I, oh, don't look at me in that tone of voice. Oh, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> She says, I don't know much about being a millionaire, but I bet I'd be darling at it. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I, I like this quote. It's, uh, tell him I was too fucking busy, or vice versa. Too busy fucking, yes. <laughs> Good one. I like it. And, and this uh, one I'm sure you've used before. What fresh hell is this? What? What fresh hell is this? I've never used that. Oh, no? Well. Oh, have you? Yes, actually, I have. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's some new shit comes I've along. I've heard that one. The only one I say all the time is, you know, when, in hockey and stuff. Uh-huh. In baseball, I always tell the boys, give them hell. Give them hell. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> give them hell. It's like a World War Two reference or something. My dad used to say it all the time. All right, wait, wait, check her out. She's pretty funny, yeah. um, and uh, good, good wit. There, I, I enjoyed her. Her reading, yeah, sounds pretty funny. Re reading her stuff, quotes. I only, I didn't even read that many of them. I just, but, but whatever. Uh, there is. Did you hear she about is. this other, this new shooting now? What new shooting is that? In California. No. Former serviceman with PTSD. Oh, the one that one's at that uh, at the at the uh, veterans thing. Veterans home. Yeah. Yeah. Former yeah. service member with PTSD, 36, holds leaving uh, holds leaving party hostage with an assault rifle, then shoots dead three women who treated him and himself after 10-hour standoff with police at large. So he they don't have him supposedly. Well, they don't have him. He killed himself, it says. Oh, does it? Oh, I thought it says at large in the headline. So I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, he's deceased. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I was just reading the headline. It does say that. Now, 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 if he's at large yeah. after killing himself, that's quite the trick. Yes. How, how does that happen? I mean, the, the headline actually does say that, at large. Oh, well, they probably updated it since the initial post. Yeah, they updated it or whatever, but. Yeah. Um, former, former military guy, you know, if this is the true thing that really happened, um, 
this is a fucked up thing. You know, PTSD. They make it seem like going in the military is a good thing, like it'll pay for your college or whatever. That's if you come back from whatever they want you to do, <laughs> exactly. not fucked up in the head or even not in a body bag. You know? Right. So you come back, you're, yeah, oh yeah, you can't go to college, why? Because you have PTSD, because you're fucked up in the head. But, I mean, those people need to live too, they need to have an education, right? and you know, they, they need to. Well, I'm they, not saying they can't go to college, I'm saying, good luck going to college when you got PTSD. I, you yeah, know? I, I don't know. You're don't, not going to be successful, odds are. <laughs> or you have a physical disability all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sit, sit, sit down there, Chloe. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Pasting a bunch of stuff. <laughs> she, she probably copied the whole page and pasted it in there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know. Now, 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 Chloe, if, you had, if you're using KVIRC, you could stop that paste at any time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now, tell me what you think of this. Okay. Barbecued spare ribs, baked beans, fries, um, it might be mashed potatoes and some uh, peppers and, and pickles. What, okay. How does that sound to you? Fries and mashed potatoes? Well, whatever. You don't probably don't have to eat both, but they're there. All right. Okay, yeah. What about it? Well, how does that sound to you? Sounds fine. Sounds like a good meal? Good. Yeah, it sounds good. Yummy. Okay, Barbecue, well, right? Apparently, it's an insensitive black... No, it is not. No, it's <laughs> fucking food, people. In... It's barbecue food. <laughs> In... Insensitive Black History Month meal at NYU. Okay. Insensitive? What? I, I gotta, she got her fucking whack. Well, who is she? I gotta, I gotta kick her because she's. She did her fucking whack. Uh, let's kick her. Let's kick her. There she goes. Boom. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Black History Month meal at, at New York University sparks outrage and firing. Uh, a firing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, that was in the headline, but it says the corrections and updates. Oh my God. An earlier version of this article incorrectly stated that the employees fired by the AMRAC were African American, while NYU dining hall employees who served the mail were black. Uh, but those employees were not fired over the incident. That's so, not insensitive. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's barbecue food. Sorry for kicking you out there, Chloe, but you're flooding the channel way too much. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, so according to the CBS News, two employees were fired as a result of the complaint by a sophomore who said she confronted the head cook about this racially insensitive oh, meal, God. but was lied to and ultimately ignored. Uh, the meal, the student claimed in a Facebook post, consisted of barbecue ribs, collard greens, watermelon-flavored uh, water, Kool-Aid, and mac and cheese. Sounds freaking delicious. Anyway, sophomore Nia Harris, who was black, said the head cook dismissed her objections and told her black employees plan the menu. She posted about the menu and, and her experience on Facebook, uh, saying she was lied to, placated, and ignored. Oh, my God. Snowflake. Snowflake alert. Oh, snowflake alert. Oh my God! My feelings are so sensitive. Oh my God! And the first, first thing, you know, I, I I look at this article. I'm looking at the, the picture on top there, and it's like, damn, that looks like some good food. <laughs> Sign me yeah, up. Yeah, right. It's fucking food. Yeah, no, it's, it's fucking right. delicious. It's barbecued spare it's ribs, man. Like racial undertones about food. Or short it's ribs, like, not spare yeah, ribs. Excuse you know, me. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. I like watermelon. Oh uh, yeah, I like all that food, man. Yeah. I it's just I mean, southern. It's it's southern. It's it's southern food. It ain't black food. Southern food, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Oh uh, anyway, I got a bunch more stories, but we'll save them again for another week because I got to uh, run the last set here. Okay. Yeah. It's about that time. Yeah. It's, I understand, Chloe. No big deal. I just, uh, I, you know, I didn't want you to get upset that I kicked you out. 
<laughs> Sometimes those things happen, though. You got to do it. <laughs> it happens. All righty, here we go. This is Alrighty, then. the best rock and roll band of all time. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Larkin Poe with their version of uh, Black Betty there. Uh, they do a lot of good songs, Larkin Poe. Um, I've, I've been listening to them for a while, and uh, they're they, they pretty good. Uh, the problem you have to be careful with, if you do have a YouTube account, and you log into your YouTube account on a regular basis, and they give you recommends, uh, once you play a couple of tracks by, by Larkin Poe, it seems like YouTube must favor them for some reason because it's really hard to get them out of your recommends. Not that that's a bad thing, because they do have a lot of good tracks. But uh, <laughs> I just noticed some, it seemed a little odd there about that band, those two chicks, Larkin Poe. All right, before that, we had a guy named Cliff Moore uh, doing a couple of tracks off of his album, Blues Brother, 2017, doing Find My Way and Crossroads. Uh, leading on up to that, a couple of Hansel requests. Uh, David Bowie with Under Pressure and the Ramones with Blitzkrieg Bop. Yeah, that's it. And then, uh, okay, um, that, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. So tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we got uh, the, the dark table at noon Eastern with a Grammy and a Flash. Uh, I'll be on Sunday doing the blues here at noon Eastern for three hours, doing a trivia in the chat, having a good old time. And then Hal Anthony is going <laughs> to take you, uh, what, what is it, uh, unruly kids behind the woodshed and give you a whoop-ass. Can't get a whoop-ass on you. And, and uh, then, then that hopefully uh, Gary Allen and Gigi's will be back this week. Uh, I don't know what happened exactly last week, but there was something going on, and they couldn't do the show. Uh, so hopefully they'll be back, and Grammy starts back again on Wednesday at her normal time at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll be back Friday, won't we? Probably. Probably. There you have it, definitive, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Peace, you... everyone. <laughs> Peace. Peace.